After a big win this weekend, a boxer from West Michigan is now on his way to a shot at a world title. Raiz the Beast Alim was born and raised in Muskegon and is now 17-0 and after a TKO victory over Marcus Bates Saturday night. Boom! Raiz said the, this was huge, huge jump for his career. I like that. Did you see that? Mm. Boom! I miss boxing. <laughs> yeah, you did that. The undefeated boxer says his next goal is to get a title fight and eventually bring the belt back to Muskegon. No word yet on when his next fight will be. I think I know Spanish pretty well. In one of the shots they showed, the guy's belt said Montaquilla, which I do believe is butter. Oh, yeah, is, is he smooth like butter? Maybe smooth is like the guy butter. Guy who's fighting. All right. Yeah. Experience Grand Rapids is kicking off one of my favorite things in the world, Restaurant Week GR. It's the 11th annual. It happens this Wednesday, August 5th. 50 plus restaurants are going to be participating. Now, this is a 12-day culinary event that features new dining incentives to encourage support of local restaurants during the pandemic. Guests are going to be able to check in at participating restaurants using a digital pass on their smartphones for a one-time use return visit coupon. So you can check in and then actually go to the restaurant within 60 days of restaurant week. So you'll have all through mm. September and October to get there. Plus other restaurants, most restaurants, are participating with both takeout and dine-in options as well. If you want more information on Restaurant Week GR and to access that digital pass, just go to restaurantweekgr. Com. Remember all the awesome food they used to bring in for I us? Know. Mm. <laughs> We're missing that, aren't we? Yes. Hey, they're 92% water, can weigh more than 200 pounds, and we're and they were bread for sweetness. They were, they were bread for sweetness. Yeah. yeah. Any guesses? Well, there you are. It's on the screen. <laughs> oh, I'm going to guess watermelon. Watermelons. Yeah. Hey, August 3rd is dedicated to this juicy and perfect summer snack. Watermelons originated from South Africa. Most melons were originally bitter, but growers cultivated them to create more flavor. Despite their name, watermelons aren't scientifically classified in the same category as other melons. Instead, they share some characteristics with gourds. Gourds. I love, look at that grilled Bronson, watermelon. Bronson can eat some watermelon. I love watermelon. Ooh. Hey, mission accomplished for the crew of SpaceX's Crew Dragon capsule. The astronauts, as you see, safely back on the Earth after completing their historic two-month journey. This capsule plunged through the Earth's atmosphere and deployed those parachutes on Sunday, just yesterday. Then it splashed down off the coast of Florida. Its two crew members are the first astronauts NASA has sent into orbit in nine years. They're also the first humans ever to go there on a commercial spacecraft. That's neat. I missed that. Hey, this hot tub just right. Yep, yeah, that may have been what was going through the mind of a bear who decided to take a dip in a backyard in Connecticut. The family who live in Avon have had frequent visits from this bear. Well, they banged and banged on a window, and the bear eventually just kind of walked away. It was relaxed at that point, right? Hey, the same family also shared video of a bear pawing and biting a blow-up pool toy. It's not clear if this is the same bear in both videos. Whatever the case might be, the family's backyard is clearly a popular destination. I'm not cleaning the filter. Look at Right. You, clean the, you clean the filter. Exactly. Your <laughs> turn. Hey, how about we moved? House for sale? No. Mm, he yeah, was enjoying it, com it. Comes with bear? Yep. One